You can easily spend hundreds of dollars on a complex home security system, or you can do it yourself with almost any old cell phone and just a few accessories. Here's what you'll need. An old cell phone, today I'll be using iPhones, and a way to mount it to the wall. I'll be using car mounts. As an option, you can also use an add-on smartphone lens. I'll be using a fisheye, a wide angle, and a super fisheye lens, and what they'll give me is a wider view of what the camera sees. And finally, you'll need a power cord for each security camera because those phones will pretty much stay on all the time. What I'll do is set up three different cameras, and you can do this at home or at your office or wherever you want to keep an eye on things. I'll set up one at my desk, one at a coffee shop, and one where I have a view of traffic and weather. Once these cameras are all set up, I'll be able to check in on any of these real-time feeds with my primary phone no matter where I am. And there are lots of apps that turn your phone into a security camera, but the one I'm using today is iCam. That one is only compatible with iOS devices, but if you're using Android phones, then there's TinyCam. The setup is really easy. The way iCam works is that there are two apps. The first is called iCam Source, and you download it on the devices that you want to use as your security cameras. That one's five bucks. When you've got it, just create a username and password, log in, hit start, and that's it. Your camera is set up. Then grab the device you'll be using to monitor. In this case, I'm using an Android because iCam works with iOS and Android for monitoring. Download iCam. It's also five bucks. Sign in with the same username and password, and voila, you'll be able to view one or all of the devices that you've set up as security cameras. To set up the three security cameras, attach each camera to a mount. Place a lens on each camera. Then mount your security cameras in your desired locations. Finally, to ensure a continuous stream, disable the auto lock feature. Now that my three cameras are set up, I can launch the app and check in on them in real time. iCam also has a feature that records still images whenever it detects motion. It doesn't work perfectly, but it is good enough if you want to keep an eye on who's coming and going. You should also know that the app works best when you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. It'll make this whole process a lot smoother. If you have any questions or tips of your own, hit me up on Twitter and check out howto.cnet.com for the written guide to this tutorial. For CNET, I'm Sharon Backnan. <laughs>